Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to show you a little problem that I've had with drills that I got with my custom from AZQSD store, or as we say in America, AZQSD store. Um, so these are the drills that they sent me. They're 317. Um, oh, and it's not focusing, focus. Um, now I have two bags because I have been spending a lot of time separating these drills out. And what I mean is, it seems like there was a problem in the production phase. Focus. Sorry. There we go. So there seems to be a problem in production, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. But basically, they're all stuck together. I'll show you here. If I just take my tray. Unstick, unstick. Bad idea. Okay. So if I take my tray and pour them out here, maybe that was too many. That's too many. <laughs> pour them back, quick. Uh, I don't have a pill crusher, which I've heard works, but I've also heard it works better on square diamonds than round. So this is my problem. Very few singles. Also, I don't know if you can tell this or not, but a lot of them are kind of crap. So what I've had to do, especially with these guys, I have sabotaged this bag several times, gone and gotten the single ones out, and then tried to work with as many as possible. So what I had to do was go into my other custom painting and get this bag. Now if you notice, these are actually really nice in comparison. Let me just bring up the other bag. So it even looks like there's a difference in color there. These are, um, these are dull. Whereas these aren't, and apologies for my fingers, they're a bit, look a bit dirty, I was probably messing with something earlier. So yeah, so the quality of the drills, they're dull and wonky and they won't sit right. Whereas these newer ones that I just got with my Hua Can are pristine. There's no problems with them. So, um, I am pretty sure I'm going to run out of these, so I'm ordering more. But I'm just really disappointed in that. I think there's a problem in the curing stage, and they just didn't get there. They didn't get to the right, yeah, stage. These are fab, though. Look at the shine on them. So that's where I am with that. I thought that we could do a, a little drill with me while I'm working on that, and I'll give you some updates. So I have recorded uh, another video. It's the unboxing of my brother-in-law's, uh, cust not custom, sorry, brother-in-law's um, Ever a Moment project that I have going on now. And I'm, I'm really excited, sorry, I just knocked you there. I'm really excited to, to share that one with you. Also, that's the last video that I'll have without a tripod because I now have one. Can you tell? It's so much fun and it's way easier, but I am afraid it's gonna wobble a little bit and I'll see if I can fix that. I'm sure I can attach it to something um, and make it more stable. So I apologize if you are shaking a lot in this video. Now I'm going to see if I can set my autofocus to focus on my finger here and stay. Is it going to go in and out now? Hello? No. Okay, perfect. Good. That's what I want. <laughs> so let's get started. So what I've been doing is starting here at the bottom 
and then working my way up uh, color by color on this particular square. And I'm just finishing Sherlock's hat in this part. So here's his ear and the top of the hat. So that's what we're working on today. Um, how are you all doing? I just uploaded my mega unboxing from Hua Can and I am I am kind of regretful that I started that unboxing when I was feeling unwell because you know it it really did come up off in my voice that I wasn't feeling good and I wasn't speaking very loudly or clearly and then for quite a bit of it, I just rushed through and <laughs> sped up the footage because I was just like, oh, I don't know, I don't sound good and I'm coughing and everything else. So I do apologize. I'll try not to do that in the future. I just got really excited when I got the parcel. It was so heavy and I really, I really just wanted to get right into it. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Um, I'm also trying out a new editor. Uh, a new video editor and that works on my cell phone. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not because I don't know if I have enough room in my computer, in my computer, in my, in my, um, sorry, in my cell phone to be able to create videos like that. Um, I do have a micro SD card that's like 128 gigs, but now I'm kind of questioning that because I did empty the card of all the pictures that I had from like the last three years so I could start doing these unboxings because I do ramble on for quite a bit. I know that. But um, I don't know if, if I have enough room space in my phone to be able to do it. So I'm going to keep testing it out. But it is super handy. I can just work away on editing while I'm just sitting there, you know, and resting and stuff instead of having to take out the computer. And I love that I can do voiceover. That, that's really nice. So look forward to a nice time lapse of me diamond painting because I think I'll be doing that a little bit more often from now on, especially if I'm not feeling well. And that way it won't come across in my voice, you know. But yeah, anyhow, for the last few days, we've been getting a lot of really heavy wind, like super gusts, you know, like up to 120 kilometers an hour. I think that's like, oh God, I'm trying to do conversions in my head, uh, maybe like 80 or 90 miles an hour gusts. So what we had to do, the priority was the chickens. So we finished the new coop. We put up the coop. Uh, we had a, we had one that was like a kind of homemade coop, um, but now they have, uh, <laughs> they kind of have their, it's not a shack anymore. They're actually living in, in royalty. They're kind of living it up now. Um, they even have, I put some fairy lights. What do we call them? Twinkle lights, not twinkle lights, solar, solar powered lights that can be used inside or outside. So I got them for the inside of the coop. Um, I read that it'll help them lay longer through the winter if you do that. So that's that was the main priority, not because I wanted it to be Pinterest worthy or anything like that. <laughs> no, the thought did cross my mind, but no, I'm not that mad. Um, but yeah, so we just, we fixed it up so that the chooks are nice and safe from the wind uh, they're now kind of on lockdown because I want them to get used to where the new egg box is, their nesting area, so that they can lay eggs in a new unfamiliar spot. So I don't want them to be wandering around and free ranging um, all over the, the run. If you don't have chickens, you mightn't understand the terminology I'm using, so I apologize if you don't understand what I'm what I'm saying. 
But anyway, so that's what we had to do. I could, didn't sleep very well last night because of the wind. It's just howling. So if you hear it in the background, every once in a while you can hear a um, and it's just the air going through our house. <laughs> I guess we have an open window somewhere. But yeah, so that happened. And then over the weekend, our shower broke. So I had to take a shower at my work and James had to take one at his brother's house. Oh my gosh. Um, but that's getting fixed in the morning. Our, our internet went out for an evening and that was very interesting. I was like, yeah, I'll just go diamond painting. No problem. Um, but he was bored and luckily we had some leftover movies, um, on the hard drive that he could, that he could watch. So yeah, that happened. And just realized that you probably can't see very well. So this is how it's going along so far. The grays are coming through. I think there's only one spot on the painting so far that I question. Do you know how, um, I don't know if you watch um, Ella from Kicking Cancer's Butt in Diamond Painting. She's one of the, one of the big YouTubers um, for Diamond Painting, I guess. But, um, she kind of, on her last whip in chat, she was like, you know, trying to encourage people to trust the process because it is really hard. Look at that tag on that one. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, huge. Um, she's just going, you know, trust the process. Don't inhibit yourself from enjoying it because you think that the picture doesn't look good because it won't look good close up. You have to stand back. And it's true, you do have to stand back from it to see the quality. Now, I shared with you the um, completed diamond paintings I did. I still feel the same way though about a few of them, like the one for my mother and um, the other one with the ocean. I really think that I should have gone bigger with them and that would have made all the difference you know that was my fault I ordered too small at the time I thought it was huge but yeah I suppose you know um, you have to get comfortable first I would recommend getting comfortable first before trying big projects anyhow speaking of projects this is just over the halfway point on this particular painting so I started this, I haven't worked every day on it, but I did start it before the decals. So today is the, oh my gosh, what day is it? The 9th that I'm making this video. So it's been about 10 or 11 days since I started working on it. But like I said, I had a few days off, so I think I've worked maybe six or seven days out of that time. And my typical drilling time would be between an hour to two and a half hours. That's how long I would spend on a painting. But I haven't really spent that much time lately, like in the last, oh, I don't know, week or so, because I've been trying to figure out this editing thing and making videos and trying to decide, do I want, uh -uh, wrong symbol. Do I want a schedule or do I just want to make videos when I want? It's kind of um, it's kind of a double-edged sword in some ways, but I won't bore you with that. But these are the things that I've been thinking about. Um, and yeah, but it did it did really irritate me and I wanted to I wanted to show you guys what I meant because I thought I could just write it on the screen, but I don't think it'd come across um, right, but aside from this particular DMC number 317, I think, I believe, that the rest of the drills came out okay. So I'm just checking to see. You can't really see the where I'm at. Hang on. Let's fix that. Two seconds. Okay, I'll have to leave the autofocus on. I'm sorry if it bugs anybody. 
so yeah um I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on with my custom I'm just trying to think if there's any other issues I've noticed the rivers and things they they aren't really causing too much of a problem but they are bunching um, but as as of right now I can't tell if they're making the painting or the drills lift on the painting or not I don't think so um, one other thing that I've really noticed is that this particular adhesive from this on this canvas does not allow me to slide drills. Do you know how um, some canvases are sticky uh, and slidey? Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it other than that, but like if I made a mistake here, I could just literally pull it over and it'd be fine. Uh, I used to do that on the Japanese garden one. But it does not allow me to do that on this canvas. I cannot do that or it will rip, basically. I missed a few over here, sorry. So, yeah, that was happening. So I, I realized that I needed to, to change the way that I dine and paint it, which is um, an interesting thing to do when you're halfway through. <laughs> I was kind of like, what's wrong with me? And then I just looked closer and then all of a sudden I realized that it's the canvas that's not allowing me to, to work the way that I'm used to, but it's fine. It's interesting. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately. So shout out to everybody who's making YouTube videos. I really appreciate what you're doing. Um, and now I understand how hard it is and how much time it takes to edit all those videos and everything, you know? Um, and put them out so often. That was another thing that I didn't appreciate. So now I'm kind of looking for new people to subscribe to. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know because I would like to find more people. I, I watch way too much YouTube, I think, but, um, but I like it, I enjoy it. And um, I was watching Frutini's Drill With Me just there last night while I was working on this section here, which is finished. And, you know, she was talking about how listening to YouTubers talk while they're diamond painting uh, and your diamond painting it makes some people feel less lonely. And I feel the same way. I'm not necessarily a lonely person, but I do find that this activity can be quite isolating. Um, and I kind of have to be careful. I don't want to ignore my husband or, you know, I'm not going to cancel my commitments with other people because of this. But while I'm doing it, I would prefer to listen to somebody talking, whether that's like a podcast or another diamond painter. And I do like hearing, oops, I do like hearing, you know, stories and stuff like that. So it's nice to, uh, to be able to do that. And then I also feel kind of like I'm giving back in a way to the people who create. So I would recommend making a YouTube channel to kind of go ahead and, and give back to the community too, if you have time, if you want to. You don't have to show your face. So I'm less afraid of it now. Does that make sense? Okie dokie. I'm going to have to move the camera. Hang on. Don't get sick. There we go. You can still see. I'm just going to move over here and I'll move my mic. It is really, really dark today as well. Can you even... Can you even hear me? Hello. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's really, really dark today, uh, weather-wise. So I apologize for the bad lighting. Also, having camera, or not camera, but issues with my cell phone, it needs to be plugged in to record. I don't know if 
that's me or a setting or what it is, but I'll have to look that up too. We're having some, some serious technological issues in this house. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. Oh, my brother-in-law went to the Balassan Iron um, Food Awards for Ireland, uh, and he entered in his his restaurants. Well, it's his, but his restaurant helped helped to produce and and sell it and everything. Um, they won silver in the overall award for. I believe for condiment because it's a salad dressing and chutneys and stuff. And I just realized that was a whole line I could have done. And he won first place in the farmer's market as well, which is amazing because it's like the first time that he's been, well, not to this particular show. He's been to Blast and Iron before, but this is the first time he's ever competed and he won and I'm really really proud of him he's worked really hard on this recipe and on getting it out there to everybody and you know making it work um, which is kind of hard to do in in the rural kind of areas so I am super proud and it just makes me all the more happy to get his diamond painting done for Christmas do you know so Look forward to that uploading soon. I don't want to overwhelm everybody with um, unboxing videos back to back because sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like unboxings are kind of boring or maybe some people don't want to watch them. Um, but let me know what you think. If you Do you like unboxings or would you prefer Drill With Me's? Maybe I'll put a poll here on the screen so let me know what you prefer and if if you prefer something else completely well leave me a comment and let me know because I'd like to I'd like to know if there's something diamond painting related that I'm not doing that you'd like to see so there's another W with that being said I think yeah we're at 22 minutes and I've just finished the W's so with that said, I suppose I'm going to let you go for today. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll insert a picture here of the completed, the three strips completed in this painting, because I will finish this this morning. And uh, let me know what you think. How do you like it so far? Uh, would, you, would you have gotten this in round or would you have gotten square? What do you think? And uh, yeah, don't forget about the poll. So... Until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.